Only a few weeks following the formation of a Greek unity government, Environment, Energy and Climate Change Minister George Papakonstantino is the first Greek official to visit Israel as a representative of the new coalition. Papa Constantino sat down with Jerusalem Post reporter Sharon Nudison on Monday to discuss possible new cooperations between Greece and Israel. How would you define Greece's progress in terms of renewables? I myself have been only to Crete, but while I was there I saw a lot of windmills in the mountains and solar panels on roofs. Well, you know that our energy mix is a little bit like Israel, um, dependent primarily on traditional energy sources, uh, mostly coal and increasingly gas. But for the last years there's been a very determined move to change the mix and move to renewable energy. Uh, wind has been the, the main driver for this until now, though solar is increasingly being uh, a, a very powerful uh, agent in change. Is Greece considering importing Israeli natural gas? There is at the moment a big discussions on how to bring to Europe gas from a number of areas outside Europe and diversify sources. Uh, the negotiations, for example, on bringing gas from the Caspian Sea are now going to come to a conclusion. We are trying to make Greece the hub for gas uh, transit to uh, northern European countries, either via Italy or through the Balkans. And uh, in that context, the discussions with Israel are ongoing on uh, the possibility to bring in also uh, Israeli gas. And these have been discussed at a high level in the past between the two prime ministers uh, and uh, at the senior government level. Papa Constantino also served as the Greek finance minister until summer of this year, and he talked about some of the causes of the economic issues facing Greece. In terms of finance, is there a future for Greece on the euro, for sure? Um, without any doubt, and I say this uh, for uh, two reasons. The first is that on the Greek side, uh, there is a clear understanding amongst certainly the government, but also increasingly in society, that the future of Greece is within the Eurozone and also the necessary policies that need to exist in order for us to be within the Eurozone, meaning fiscal consolidation, structural reforms, bigger competitiveness, etc. And on the side of the Eurozone, there is a clear understanding that the problems are systemic, they're not just the problems of one country, and if you cut off that country, you save the rest. We're all in this together, and solutions have to be found uh, for the Eurozone to be able to survive with all its current members. The new Greek Prime Minister, as of November 11th, Lucas Papadimos, last week told Netanyahu that they're interested in strengthening relations with Israel. What do you think he meant by this exactly? I, I have learned in politics to never interpret uh, what the Prime Minister says. However, uh, for the last uh, few years, uh, starting with um, the previous government, George Papandreou's government, uh, there's been clearly a new page opened in the relationship between the the two countries uh, and uh, I think um, uh, there have been many instances uh, there's been the visit uh, of course uh, that has happened to Greece and uh, a clear desire on both sides to uh, move closer on a number of issues uh, political economic uh, etc so uh, Prime Minister Papademos is simply uh, pushing that further uh, and he spoke with uh, Prime Minister Netany Netanyahu a few days to reaffirm our willingness to keep a cooperation uh, that is mutually beneficial. Thank you Minister Papa Constantino for joining us here and enjoy the rest of your visit to Israel.